Hi dancers, welcome back. This is our second video in our virtual classes and this is for our creative dancers. Um, special hello to my Tuesday night and Saturday morning creative classes. I miss you guys. Um, my name is Miss Lindsay and today we're going to talk about relationships. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about that once we get through some other things. Um, but I want to let the adults in the room know that we're going to be doing an obstacle course at the toward the end of our video. Um, so I have pulled together some things to do our obstacle course with. Um, if you want to take some time while your little ones are, are dancing and, and we're doing our brain dance and our warming up and stuff um, to gather a few things, that would be a good time to do it. Or if you want to wait and pause the video and pull some stuff together, you can. Um, obviously, since we're not at the studio, we don't have our normal uh, objects like our cones and the mats and the trampoline and all of that kind of stuff. So we're making do with what we've got. So. I'm going to be using washcloths that we're going to lay down on the floor and, and jump over. I'm going to be using some stuffed animals that we can make a line with and weave in and out of. Um, and then I'm going to get a big blanket and hang it over two chairs to make a tunnel to go underneath. So if you want to grab some items that are similar to that, something that they can jump over, something that you can make a line with that they can go in and out of, um, and then two chairs that you can drape something over to make a tunnel, um, that's all that you're gonna need today. And then of course, maybe a scarf or ribbon or something to freeze dance with at the end. So let's get started. I'm gonna try music on my laptop today. Last time I tried it on my TV and I, I think it worked okay, but I'm gonna try it on my laptop. Um, I'm just kind of curious to see what the difference is. So hopefully it will work out just as well as it did last time. So let's get started. We are going to start with our brain dance. And we're going to start sitting today for our brain dance. All right, so just sitting in a comfortable seat, cross legged or up on your knees, whatever feels good. And we're going to start with our breath. So we're going to take a huge breath in through our nose and let it out through your mouth. So this is like you're blowing out a candle. It's that type of breath. Breathe it in. Let it go. Again, breathe it in. And let it go. Bring your knees up in front of you. You're going to drop your head, curl in, and then lift your head up and sit up nice and straight and tall. So from the side, it looks like this. Lift your head, curl it in, and then sitting up nice and tall. One more time, dip your head, curl it in, and back to sitting up nice and tall. Very nice, coming back to facing the front. One more big breath in. At the very top, start rubbing your hands together. Bring them down in front of you and imagine that you have your favorite color paint in your hands and you're getting that paint nice and hot. We're gonna give ourselves little squeezes starting at our head. So squeeze that paint in your hair Squeeze that paint over your ears, over your face, maybe into your cheeks. Get some paint on your neck. One shoulder, down one arm. Give yourself little squeezes. Other arm. Get some paint on your chest, on your belly, on your back, down your legs. All the way down one leg, your ankles, your feet, other foot. Good, and then we're gonna take all that paint we just put on and we're gonna brush it off. So you're gonna brush.
and get the paint out of your hair. Brush all that paint off. Very nice. Curl it in. Instead of doing our jumping starfish today, we're going to open up and stretch out as big as we can, and then you're going to curl it back in. And I'm going to scoop back so you can see me a little bit better. So nice and slow to begin with. Reach it out, grow big, and bring it back in. Good. Again. Reach it out. Bring it in. And one more time, as big as you can get. Good. And bring it in. We're going to do the same thing, but we're going to add some counts. We're going to grow bigger for three. One, two, three. Then we're going to snap it in tight in just one count. As fast as you can. Here we go. Big one, two, three. And again, one, two, three. And one, two, three. And very nice. Sitting back up, cutting yourself in half. You have your upper body and you have your lower body. So we're going to start with our upper body, starting with these shoulders. You're going to squeeze them up to your ears and drop them down. Good. Squeeze them up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Drop them down. Again. Squeeze and drop. Give your shoulders a roll. Now get those elbows moving in a big circle. And let's try one elbow at a time and the other elbow. Now get your full arms going, big arms like you're swimming. Good, arms out to the side. One hand down to the floor, other arm, big side stretch up and over. Very soft from one side to the other. Good, sitting back up to center. into your legs. Sending your legs straight out in front of you. We're going to bend one knee and shoot it out. Now the other. And one knee and the other. One more time. Bend a knee and the other. Very nice. Now just for fun, we're going to take those legs up over our head just like this. And you're going to shake your legs. And come back down. Sit up. Again, rolling onto your back. Shake those legs. And back up. One last time. Rolling onto your back. Shake those legs over your head. And back down. Very nice. Coming back to center. Cutting yourself in half all the way down the middle. So you have your right side and you have your left side. Arms and legs out straight. Back up so you can see my legs. One side, your choice. Take it out and close it up. Take it out, close it up. This is all the same side. One more time. Now take those same arms and legs and you're going to bend them and set them forward. And take it in. Good, now switch sides. So whatever side you didn't do, switch to the other side. You have open and close. Open and close. Open and close. One more time. Good, bend it. Send it forward. Bend it. Send it forward. Bend it. Send it forward one last time. Very nice. Now. We're going to come up to our knees, and what we're going to do now is we're going to cross our body. So we just did everything on one side, right? Same arm as leg. Now we're going to cross our body. So we're going to take one hand, and you're going to reach over and touch the other knee. Yes, 
So we're not going same. We're gonna cross our body so that we get a big twist in our back. I want you to think about your shoulder coming forward. So right hand up, reach it forward, touch that knee. Come back up, other side. It's like you're giving yourself a little hug with the twist. One more time. Very nice. Now our last spins, you can either do sitting, if you feel like spinning on the floor, or you can come up to standing and give yourself spins up here. So it's whatever you'd like. Five spins, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. Take one more breath in. Let it go. Nice job, dancers. Very nice. We're going to do a super fast stretch. We are going to do our baking today, but we're going to speed it up a little bit, and then we'll head across the floor. So go ahead and sit in your straddle. Knees and toes open wide. Get a big bowl and set it right in between your legs. I thought we would bake a cake today. So, reaching down your toes, get a big cup of flour. Pour your flour in your bowl. Good, reach down to your other toes. Get a big cup of sugar this time. Pour some sugar. Reach up to the sky. Grab three eggs, and we're going to crack those eggs in our dish. One, two, three. Reach it forward. Let's grab some milk. Pour your milk in. Good. And reach behind you, and let's grab some chocolate. Maybe it's a chocolate bar. Maybe it's chocolate chips. It's whatever kind of chocolate you like. I'm going to cut my bag open, pour some chocolate chips in. And if you don't like chocolate, you can add anything you want. Get your big spoon, let's mix it up. Good, let's taste it. Tastes pretty good. Push it into the oven. Tick tock, arm down to one toe, other arm up, tick tock, side to side while we wait for those, that cake to be made. time. Tick. And top. Very nice. Pull your cake out of the oven. Put a big slice on one knee, a big slice on the other knee. Your nose is going to come down to your knee and take five bites. Now, you don't want to bring your knee up to your nose. You want your legs to stay straight and just reach your nose down as far as you can. Five bites. One, two, three, four, to the other knee. One, two, three, four, five. Very nice. Pack up your cake if you have some left over. Put it in your fridge if you want to save it or scoop it up and eat it in one huge bite. Nice job, dancers. So we're going to head across the floor. We're gonna head across the floor um, just to give ourselves a quick reminder of some of the things that we're gonna do in our obstacle course. So I'm just gonna put music on and we're just gonna talk right through it. I'm gonna walk from one edge of my rug to the other and then I'm gonna turn around and come back. So that's just gonna be my whole dance space, yeah? Normally when we're in the studio, we have that huge room to go all the way across. We just have a little rug today. So let me put some other music on here. All right, find one side of whatever your space is. We're gonna start with our toe walks. So legs are straight, hands can be on your hips, hands can be over your head, whatever you'd like. And we're gonna walk like a robot, super straight legs, super tall. When you reach the end of your space, go ahead and turn around and come back. Good, and we're gonna do 
that again. So straight legs, they don't bend. We don't have any bends in our knees. We're walking super straight, nice, straight up and tall. Coming back. Good. Coming down, passe walks, flamingo walks. Toe up to your knee. Arms out to the side. Here we go. set up my washcloths in a straight line spaced out so that you can jump over each one. I'm going to set up my stuffed animals in a straight line so that we can weave in and out of them and then I'll have my chairs with a towel for the tunnel. So I'm going to take a second to set up. If you want to take a second to set up we'll come back here in just a minute. Hopefully you'll be able to see my setup. So it looks like you can see almost everything. If you can see my little washcloths that I have here and my tunnel with the chairs and my line of stuffed animals back here. Let's see if I can move this back. Okay, I don't know if that's any better, but I think you can see a little bit more of it. Okay, so the reason why we're doing an obstacle course today is because we're talking about relationships. Now, relationship means where your body is in relationship to either the rest of your body or another dancer or where you are in the space, maybe where you are on stage. So we are going to talk about our relationship to where our body is in relation to these items that we have set up. 
You can be over, under, around, or in between. So we are going to be jumping over our washcloths. We're going to be going around the chair, under the tunnel, and then in between our stuffed animals. So over our spots, we're going to jump over our washcloths. I'm sorry, we're so used to spots. Over our washcloths, we're gonna jump. We'll go around the chair. We'll crawl under the blanket for our tunnel. And then we're gonna be on our tiptoes and we're gonna weave in and out of our stuffed animals. And we're gonna follow that loop a couple times. So I'm just gonna put some music on and I'm going to do it a few times do it with me. Hopefully that gave you guys enough time to set up um, and we'll get going. Here we go. Nice job, dancers. So we're gonna just switch it up a little bit to where we're gonna do the exact same thing, but we're gonna do it backwards. So we're gonna jump backwards over our spots. We'll still go around the tunnel, but then I want you to crawl through the tunnel backwards, and then we'll stand up and we'll toe walk backwards through our stuffed animals or whatever it is that you have set up there. So everything the same, except we're just gonna be doing it backwards. Here we go. Nice job. Good work, dancers. All right.
right, so I'm gonna quick like clean up my space um, and then we'll freeze dance. So go ahead and push your stuff to the side and get your carpet back or your space back so that you can move. I'll set my little friends up here so they can watch. So go ahead and grab whatever you've got. I'm gonna use an actual winter scarf that I have to use for my freeze dance today, but feel free to use one of those washcloths or a tissue or anything or nothing if you don't want it, and let's freeze dance. Nice job, Breeze Dancing. Oh, sorry, I'm out of breath now. Well, I hope you had fun dancing with me today. And tune in next week. We'll have more videos for you. And I hope everyone's doing well. And I hope we get to see each other soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>